Well everyone, the Nintendo Switch OLED model just got announced by Nintendo and this is crazy. There's been a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors about what was going to happen. So let's go and do, I guess, a quick comparison between the new OLED model and the older original Nintendo Switch. Now there's a lot of similarities and technically speaking, if you're just planning on docking this console up and just playing it like that, then there's really going to be little to no difference. You do have a new little bit of an updated dock that does have a wired LAN port, which is really cool. So if you plan on plugging like an Ethernet port or Ethernet cord to your Nintendo Switch, you do have that capability, which is really awesome without having to buy another accessory. But the main changes come from the portable side. So that's a pretty big thing. Now, the size technically is a, exactly the same, mostly because the Joy-Cons still work. So both the Joy-Cons are going to be working on both, but you do have a bigger display on the new OLED display. So before on the original Nintendo Switch, we did have a 6.2 inch LCD display, which is an LCD touchscreen, but now that has been updated to a seven inch OLED touchscreen. So that's a pretty big difference. And based on everything that I saw, it just makes the Nintendo Switch look that more current, that much more current. The original Nintendo Switch is not, it doesn't look ugly, but you could definitely tell the bezels are massive. Those bezels are now shrunken a little bit, which is beautiful and I love seeing that. The internal storage has also upgraded from 32 gigs for both the Switch and the Switch Lite to the 64 gigs, which is another pretty big change. Now another big change is actually on the back of the console, we now have an adjustable stand. So before it pretty much only stuck at one point, and this one seems like it covers the whole entire half of the back of the console, and it can actually go and adjust, which I think is really cool, and I actually really like seeing that. We also have enhanced audio on the Nintendo Switch in portable mode, where on our original Nintendo Switch, you know, it may have not sounded the best, but it actually wasn't that bad to be honest. Now those are essentially the main changes. The price tag of the new OLED model is $350, which is a little bit more expensive than the original Nintendo Switch, but again, it's really not that big of a deal considering that it is the newer console. But funny enough, like I mentioned, the internals are almost exactly the same. So I'm assuming the exact same processor is in both of these consoles. On top of that, they do mention that you're getting about the same battery life from both of these consoles as well. So I don't think there's that big of a difference. You do have the console is said to be a little heavier. So I don't know where the heaviness comes from. Maybe it's that bigger display. I would assume maybe they put a bigger battery in it. I'm not 100% too sure. But based off the specifications, it's almost exactly the same thickness and exact the same you know length and width and all that stuff too so that's another pretty big thing to keep in mind and that really pretty much covers it up for the most part do you guys plan on picking up the nintendo switch the oled model i'd love to hear what you guys have to say it is coming out october 8th so again a couple of months from now hopefully you guys can save up some money and pick it up from then so that's essentially it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly that everything will sell every single one of you guys Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.